guys okay so this is part two it's june 14 2023 is when i received the message but today is actually june 15 2023 but the lord didn't want me to release it until today um so i'm obedient and take everything to jesus that you hear i claim that jesus christ is the son of god he's god he came to earth in the flesh he bled on the cross for us he died for us and he rose on the third day and he was born of a virgin ignore the people on youtube who are trying to scam you with their fake a picture of me and asking you for money. I'll never ask you for money. Okay, so I left off on my false believers. Um, so, my false believers who live for this world, am I truly in your heart? Do you put me first? Do you feel my spirit convict you? Or do you just go through the motions, praising me and pretend prayer in public? I say to you, I am am i truly in your heart i love you children this is why i'm trying to wake you up get out of your own heads and believe i have revealed the end to my prophets i will do nothing without revealing it to them the fig tree has withered the wheats and the tares have been sorted next is my countenance in the sky i will reveal my glory now that the heavens are open smell that glorious food it's amazing because i've had people email me and ask me about them or like random things oh i've i've smelled this awesome aroma and this wonderful food it was amazing and they didn't know where it was coming from um okay so an aroma you have never so let's see smell that glorious food an aroma you have never quite smelled or tasted this is just one of the many surprises I have in store for my chosen ones. Delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. I am the truth, the way, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. My spirit dwells in all of my chosen people, and on the 17th you will feel my presence so strong. I'm guessing he means like in a couple days, 17th. You know, because I know we're in the ninth hour, according to Jess from um, Jesus Saves. She said we're in the ninth hour on the Maseroth. So I'm guessing this is what he means. But I'm not God. So you take everything to Jesus. And did you need something, Peggy? Uh, I'll pause. I'm sorry about that. I'm still at my mom's and so many people just keep coming in. My grandma's 97 and she's redoing her bedroom furniture, so... <sighs> okay, um, uh, let's see. So, smell that glorious food, an aroma you have never quite smelled or tasted. This is just one of the many surprises I have in store for my chosen ones. Delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. I am the truth, the way, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. My spirit dwells in all of my chosen people, and on the 17th, you will feel my presence so strong. Again, I don't know if he's saying the 17th in a couple of days, 17th, or what, but I know we're in the ninth hour, according to Jess from Jesus Saves. So always take everything to Jesus and ask him, ask for clarification. I literally am doing this because I feel obedience, or I feel conviction, and I'm obedient to Jesus. So I have no other motives to do this, and if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. It's what I believe in my heart. And this is the only reason why I'm speaking these words. Um, okay, so where am I at now? Um, okay. I keep stopping. This is getting... Okay, the aroma. 17th. Okay, and on the 17th, you will feel my presence so strong. You will know when I'm coming. It's going to be supernatural, but the spirit will only understand. My children, without my spirit, you will not feel my supernatural presence. I am aligning the heavens with your spirit, and you will hear my call. The trumpet will sound. I'm calling you up. If you miss my trumpet call, you will have to die for my glory. I love you. I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. Okay, so... Then he gave me 1 Thessalonians 2.12. That you would walk worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Luke 21.13. But it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. 
Zephaniah 2, 7. The coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed their flocks there. In the houses of Ashkelon they shall lie down at evening, for the Lord their God will intervene for them and return their captives. 1 Corinthians 1, 8. You will also confirm you to the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, he gives me these scriptures. 1 John 4, 6, we are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. John 5, 12, then they asked him, who is the man who said to you, take up your bed and walk? 1 Timothy 1, 7, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm. Okay, and here's a short message. I'm coming, my child. I am coming. I love you. Look up. Redemption draws nigh. This is my last warning. Tomorrow you will get instructions. Tonight, pray to me and ask me for a dream. Ask me for confirmation. Ask me with all of your hearts sincerely. If you are sincere, I will show you when in the dream. You will get the day confirmed and the hour. I love you. I can't wait to be with you. I am your redeemer, your rescuer, and your Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I am rescuing you, rescuing you on the 17th Eastern time. Now, just that that might be like a double meaning. Um, sometimes, you know, he looks at New York as Eastern time, like that's the central of the United States. And just like Israel is the central time for his, his people, Israel. So <clears throat> she thinks that's why he's using Eastern time there. She said, if you listen to, she listens to someone, I can't remember his name, uh, John something, I don't know, some, some person that she listens to literally explains how the Lord uses certain things um to talk about like eastern time central centralized around new york or or israel time central around israel so i don't know i was just saying what jess said okay and then it said seek me for my hour i will give it to you i love you i'm your lord god and i've spoken so guys Take everything to Jesus and tonight pray and ask him for a dream, for confirmation, for the date and the time. I know no man knows the day or the hour, but the spirit knows what a man does not understand. And that's also in his word. Another thing in his word is he does nothing re without revealing it to his prophets, which is what he said in the previous message. He said... I believe I've revealed the end to my prophets. I will do nothing without revealing it to them. So guys, I am just being obedient and I love Jesus with all my heart. He's my Lord and Savior. And if you were convicted by the Lord, would you not do it? So it's just, you gotta take it up to Jesus. Take it to Jesus. Okay, and so then he gave me more scripture. Colossians 1, 2. To the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 2, 8. Because you have plundered many nations, all the remnant of the people shall plunder you. Because of men's blood and the violence of the land and the city and of all who dwell in it. Ephesians 1 7 in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace Revelation 16 9 and men were scorched with great heat and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues and they did not repent and give him glory Revelation 12 7 and war broke out in heaven Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought Exodus 18 12 then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and other sacrifices to offer to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. 
Amos 3, 4. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he has caught nothing? Isaiah 42, 8. I am the Lord, that is my name.